Yo, what is up, guys? You techno techno here. We're back with a Clash uh, Royale video. Uh, stuttered there. I don't know. Do you guys see the new Clash Royale update? That's pretty sweet. But anyway, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use spawner decks. Now, I am a level three, uh, currently in Arena Four. Uh, being a level three in Arena Four is amazing. We're gonna upgrade our arrows right now to hit level four. Uh, this way, our cards are a little bit more competitive because right now my arrows don't even one shot uh, a minion horde uh, around this level. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how to outplay your opponents because that is a common problem that I see. So. Uh, it's gonna request for some cards here. I'm currently trying to upgrade my spawners because that spawners guys are extremely powerful in the lower level arenas. Like when you hit about arena five, when you hit arena six, spawners become weak. Um, but the higher you get, they're really good. So we're uh, immediately we're hopping into a battle. This guy is level six. Okay, we're level four. We're brand new level four. We're technically, if you will, still a level three. So we're gonna start off with a barbarian hunt in the back. He's gonna start off with a hog rider. And we need to try to eliminate, okay, so he's going to deploy a wizard. So we're going to actually have to deploy probably our musketeer. And then, yeah, yeah, that was a bad idea. He's going to get a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Archers, guys, are so strong. So we know now he has wizards and he has fire. Look at the da Wow. He's going to arrow it too. Okay, so we know that the type of guy we're playing is not good because you don't just arrow. We're going to place down our goblin hunt. Um, our baby dragon to support he's gonna put a cannon right in front of his tower which you never want to do by the way guys that is not how you play the cannon um it is a it, it's not it's not a good idea so he's in a he's freaking out here actually uh even though we have absolutely no damage onto his tower we're just gonna support right here we're gonna deploy our spirit goblins to cycle back to our uh what's it called barbarian hut uh, and he's going to play Fire Spirits, and the Fire Spirits sadly are going to get there. So we know he has Wizard, he has Fire Spirits, and he has Arrows. Why do I need to know this? Well, because all he has to defend my troops are that. So we're just going to deploy a mini pack on the side, catch him off guard. He just now, you see that cannon placement? I could tell he has no Elixir because of how he deployed that cannon. It was a very fast deployment, very late. So he let me get three shots on his tower, and that pretty much evened us out. Even though it looks like he has more damage, because uh, his towers have more health than my towers do, technically I have the more damage done. And if you look at that, my Valkyries don't even one-shot, can't even one-shot his, his goblins, guys. This is just showing you guys just how strong this is. So while he's focused over here, my barbarians are actually doing a lot of work on his other tower we're gonna put another barbarian hut we're actually low on spawners um here so we're gonna see what he does he's going to start up a push over here and now we have double barbarians we're gonna have to defend this we're gonna have to deploy our valkyrie here this may be a loss guys and our mini pekka no it went the wrong way all right yeah that's game honestly i don't think we could save this guys that is game yep i mean i don't think there's much else we could do and that yeah that's game yeah all right yeah so we lost it guys we we played well but his card levels were way too level for us so and also we're level four he's also level six so it plays a big massive role inside of it um so we're actually gonna switch out our arrows for the fireball because the fireball would have been able to take out things like his archers if you guys don't know equal level arrows cannot take out archers another level six we're going against polo pro this sucks guys this, honestly, it really sucks. We're going to start off, as usual, with our Barbarian Hunt, unless he plays something else. You're going to play that in the back, as usual. And what's actually pretty good is if you see in our next slot, we actually can get ready to deploy our second spawner, our Goblin Hut. So all we need to do now is just build up some Elixir. He wasted a lot of Elixir. He wasted almost five Elixir there, if you notice how long it took him to deploy that. So that was a five Elixir profit that we have going into the game. He does have a baby dragon, but now we know what he has. What does splash damage? Well, splash damage, if you don't know, is basically damage that is in a area damage radius, um, which it damage more than one troop at a time. So it could damage like five troops at a time, depending on the radius. And we need to know this because our spawners are all troops that will be clumped together in tight radiuses. So his witch 
has absolutely oh he's gonna start off with an expo so his witch does great amazing splash damage one of the best splash attackers in the game he also has a baby dragon so he's gonna completely ignore everything that expo honestly should die he's gonna deploy a level one prince we have absolutely nothing to stop that honestly guys i don't even know uh, if we can defend that we're yeah we're gonna we're gonna try to defend it he's probably gonna wind up taking that tower still uh 35 hit points left honestly we should take his tower right now yeah, we're just gonna... Yeah, we got this tower. We got it. Stolen. Taken away. Not really sorry. He's gonna play a very late skeleton. He's gonna play his P.E.K.K.A. Wow! <laughs> Against a spawner? He is so stupid. Alright. Here's one thing that you don't want to do in case you are happening. Okay, you don't arrow. Uh, oh my god. And he he, he could have used those arrows to take out my other tower, by the way. Just saying. He's probably gonna take out our other tower. So we're just gonna put a mini P.E.K.K.A. there to pressure. We're gonna laugh at him because his P.E.K.K.A. got shut down. You never deploy a single target unit like a P.E.K.K.A. Um, in front of spawners because the spawners will just absolutely destroy it. We're gonna play another spawner here, but he does have a witch here. He might actually take down this tower. We're gonna have to play our Valkyrie. Come on, Valkyrie. And then the Valkyrie's gonna take all that out. We're just gonna laugh at him. Uh, and he's not even gonna push for the other side. I don't know if this man is gonna arrow it or not. It'll, uh, nope, he's not gonna arrow it. That Honestly, it should be game, guys. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna laugh at him there. All right, this is actually really good. If that mini pick can get one shot on the tower, oh, did not get a shot on the tower. That kind of sucks. Oh, uh, but we're gonna play a barbarian hut, just stacking them up here. He's gonna deploy that. We need to get our Valkyrie over here. Our Valkyrie's gonna deal amazing splash damage again, area damage. He's gonna deploy his prince there. We're gonna laugh at him. Is he going to deploy his arrows? Does he not know? He did not deploy his arrows, dude. His arrows missed our tower. Wow, this guy is, sucks so much. We're just gonna fireball. That is a BM, a bad move. Again, he is a level six guy, so I think we could afford to treat him a little like he's garbage. And we got a magical chest. This is awesome. Can I? That is awesome, guys. Holy crap, that is so amazing. Okay, so we might actually have enough gems to open that. We might open that actually later on, um, in the episode. But for now, I'm going to hop, I believe, probably into another battle here we're searching for opponent here we go it's going to give me a level three wow awesome uh is that is yeah okay so this is actually pretty good but he's asian don't take this the wrong way all right people just saying he's OP. so we're gonna start off with our hut in the back nice you see that we actually okay he has a level two level two giant uh, bruh bruh all right so actually we're gonna employ our hut our goblin hut there he's Okay, so we know now he has Bomber. Bomber has one of his main splash targeting defenses. I was going to deploy my hut there, but because I see his Bombers there, honestly, okay, this is actually shaping up to be a very deadly... All right, that Valkyrie should take all that out. Awesome. That is amazing. Giant's not even going to touch our towers. Honest? Okay, so he's going to defend that. We're going to put that on our Goblin Barrel. If you're not, all his splash troops are away. We now know he has Skeleton Army, which is very dangerous especially after this update guys it is one of the most dangerous cards in the game right now honestly log is the best legendary and this is the one of the most dangerous cards in the game we're not gonna fireball that our goblins actually should be able to take that out before he gets to our tower okay he's actually gonna deploy that there so we're gonna deploy our musketeer on the side it is risky because if he fireballs it's a very valuable fireball but honestly i trust my troops so we're just gonna place on another barbarian hut uh, because of course they were able to take all that out now we have a really big push coming to him and honestly right now would be the best time for my man to deploy his goblin hunt no he's gonna choose skeleton army just as well he was able to shut down that musket he's, he shut down my push that was very well played gg my dude all right so uh he's not gonna deploy his bomber it's a little late we're gonna fireball here that is a very valuable fire i missed the musketeer oh my gosh that was going to be a very valuable musk fireball. It was going to be four elixir uh, on our fireball to take out the four elixir muskets here and the three elixir bomber, but we missed it. So technically, that was a un that was a very bad trade. If you look on our cycle, our next card that uh, if we cycle to it could actually be the goblin hunt. So he's gonna fireball. Oh, he's gonna activate my crown tower. Thank you. He just made this easy for me. We're gonna put our barbarian hunt here. Um, again, pretty simple stuff right there okay now we just save up elixir honestly he's spending all this defending we're just gonna try to get some trickle damage because after what he did there some trickle damage is all we need he's gonna go goblin there so we're gonna go goblin hunt all the way in the back Sh immediately takes down 
his giant should have deployed fireball. That would have been a much better fireball opportunity. But right in here, we're gonna get our fireball ready. We're gonna have to fireball all of this, or unless our troops are gonna be able to take this house, which is gonna be amazing. Honestly, guys, this might be a draw. But look at this. We have two barbarian spawners up all at the same time. Unfortunately, that what is that tiny little thing? Bomber is gonna uh, completely. I'm I'm sorry. Forgive me. Not really. Um, I don't even know, guys. Honestly, we're getting a lot of trickle damage. We're not gonna deploy our musketeer in between our huts, and so we're gonna go for trickle damage. We're gonna play another spawner, guys. This just shows the craziness of this deck. We're gonna play that there. He's gonna fireball yet again, and then we're gonna play another barbarian hut, guys. We're gonna become unstoppable for this level three. Honestly, now he's just playing defense. He's not even pushing. He's deploying his giant there. We're gonna play that there, and that is supposed to. That's probably gonna be a good game. I'm not even kidding. That's a level two fireball that. Prop that would oh my god we missed the bomber that's game he can't stop that oh that sucks okay we're gonna play our goblin hunt i'm giving the well played uh, listen they better take this tower down come on get some trickle 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 16 seconds left fireball all right all we need to do is our fireball we're gonna put our spirit over there for the trickle and then we're just gonna fireball for the win and we're gonna laugh at him he played very well that was a very 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 well played game welcome um, amazing job uh chinese character dude i bet you live in china and we hit arena five. Oh my gosh guys this is awesome you have reached spell valley guys we finally reached it there's the graveyard spell coming out in a couple days uh it's actually 16 hours of the recording uh now at least uh that is awesome guys i can't believe it we can unlock poison uh we can unlock ice wizard and look at wow for five bucks that is very well spent we're just gonna buy some goblin hut since we use that uh we don't have enough to upgrade it we're gonna see all right that was the bomb tower that we got because i saw there was a new card there um maybe you know what let's open it we could afford it it's only 72 gems all right 356 gold that is nice eight bombers we don't really use the bombers uh two bomb towers all right give us something we use 17 arrows that might actually be good 20 one minions 10 valkyries that is amazing guys we unlocked the goblin barrel that is awesome. There's another epic. We unlocked the P.E.K.K.A. Oh my gosh, guys. This is awesome. Dude, that, that deserves a screenshot. Do you know how strong we're going to be as a level 4 with a P.E.K.K.A. and Goblin Barrel? We can make a P.E.K.K.A. and Goblin Barrel deck, guys. Holy crap. That is insane. In the next video, guys, I'm going to be having um, the P.E.K.K.A. and Goblin Barrel stuff there. Um, I should be getting a Super Magical Chest soon. The only reason why I say that is because uh, if you guys don't know the chest cycle... If you get a magical chest and you wait a little bit, uh, a couple battles later, if you open up like your silver and gold chest that you're going to get in your crown chest, you could actually get a super magical chest. So hopefully we'll get a super magical chest in the future. We should be getting a super magical chest in the future. Again, if you guys do like, really help really a lot. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching the video. I just want to say, out.